joined now by Scotland head coach Scott Johnson. Scott, you've made three changes to the uh, pack for the game against France on Saturday. Talk us through those changes. Look, uh, obviously the form of the, uh, Jeff in the second half against Italy has rewarded with a starting place. I thought he did really well when he came on and deserves that. The first right of reply, if you like, and so therefore we've selected him. Uh, in the back row, we've made a couple of changes. One slightly enforced with Ryan Wilson not being well at the start of the week, so we weren't going to wait. Um, so it was important that we got a good training ahead of us, so um, we made Dents come straight in, and that's showing depth in the squad now that we're able to do that. Uh, Kelly back, I think it's a game that really suits Kelly. Um, I think the French, unlike the other sides in the competition, play above, above the ground a bit. There'll be a lot of mauling. I think the pitch suits Kelly. I think it's exactly where we need it to be. And I pick the side that I think can win the game, and that's most important. You've said before that, that for you, it's about leadership within the squad. And you've also made the point before that if Kelly is in the starting team, he would start as captain. Um, there'll be some people who say, but are you not kind of chopping and changing your captain just a wee bit too much? Oh, it doesn't worry me that. I think uh, I've got Greg and Kelly, um, both uh, leaders in their own right. Um, I think Kelly uh, um, has been around this squad for a long time now, knows the squad, and I won't go away from the fact that whilst he makes the 15, he can lead the team. And I want strength and depth in leadership. Leadership's not just about one person. We need a group to get a, get a strong team. I mean, mean more. I need more than just one. I mean, go back to the great sides around the world. They've got a multitude of leaders in this team. We're trying to develop that. So we can't be relying on one person, nor will I go that way. It's the best fit at the moment. Uh, it's the best fit for the team. And it's the best fit what we think can beat France. So horses for courses in, in that respect. Um, you've got Ewan Murray fit again and back onto the bench and I suppose that your feeling there was that Jeff had done a good job when he came on and, and Ewan's got to work in with a, within that competitive environment. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. I mean, Ewan sat on the bench in the autumn as well um, because of the good form of Murray Lowe in the early, early parts of those games. So I think it's the same here of rewarding good performance by Jeff. It doesn't give anyone a divine right to make this team and I don't want to get it to that stage. Ewan's been wonderful for us over a number of years as a quality rugby player. Uh, but he's been out for some time um, and Jeff deserves the first right. And, uh, and I expect nothing but a good performance from Jeff and Ewan when he gets on the pitch. And the back division, an unchanged back division there. What, what were your thoughts there? I thought they did enough and uh, I, I want a bit of consistency in regard to that. I think um, there was elements of the game we need to improve, but there was, um, I like the developing partnership at uh, 12 and 13. I think that gives us impetus and I like to give the other guys time to work off that and get used to each other's play and I think that was the right decision for now. No Picamol, no Nyanga, no Fofana for the French team, but I guess the reality is France could probably pick four 15s and on their day they'd be good enough to beat anybody in the world. So we probably shouldn't read too much into um, so-called problems within the French side? No, but there's no Maitland, no Vissa, maybe no Dixon, but it never gets mentioned, isn't it unbelievable? <laughs> Let's feel sorry for France, eh? No, it will, uh, whatever side they put up uh, will be a good one. They've proven that over the years. They're a great rugby nation. And whatever side comes there, uh, uh, Edinburgh will be a good one. And we know that too. So we'll be after, we'll be after to be on our best.